Thank you, Sharon. Where's the stump? It rotted. It rotted. It didn't have anything of me standing on it last year, did it? Okay. Listen, um, it is so great to be with you and to see so many Republicans turn out in the city of St. Louis. And I'll tell you what else is encouraging, to see so many candidates come to this event. And I, I'd like to share uh, what I hope are a couple of words of wisdom uh, to those candidates and why I'm encouraged that you're here. In 2008, I ran for the state senate seat in the first. And 10% of my district, uh, of the first district, was in the city of St. Louis. We're actually standing in my district. And there were a number of committed Republicans down here in the city that wanted to get engaged in my race in 2008. You all remember 2008? It wasn't such a great year for Republicans. And those committed few went door to door in that 10% of my district. They dropped literature, they knocked on doors, they talked to people that they knew in their neighborhoods. They actually got me yard sign locations. And when the dust settled in November of 08, and if you all remember, I won that race by 70 votes out of 90,000 cats. 71 polling places, thank you. 71 polling places across the first district. And when you looked at the numbers in that 10% of the district, four years previous, the Republican candidate got 29% of the vote in that area. And we got 36% of the vote. Now, I don't know how your numbers add up, but I can point to the work of the Republicans in 10% of my district in the city of St. Louis that drug me across the finish line, right? Yep. And I would say a little word of, uh, of encouragement and advice uh, to my colleagues and to those running for office. Do not ignore, as you have not, because you're here today, some of you have traveled from the other side of the state, to be at a Republican picnic in the city of St. Louis, and I, I applaud you for that and encourage you. Now, let me say this. Redistricting happened. I no longer are gonna, am I going to have the opportunity to represent the city of St. Louis, and, uh, you know, that, that hurts my heart a little bit. Um, matter of fact, the, the way I got redistricted, they moved me up into Maplewood and Rock Hill and parts of Brentwood, and I would make the argument as far as communities of interest that they certainly don't have communities of interest with Oakville and Melville like South City does. And I actually made those arguments before the commission. Uh, it fell on deaf ears, and, uh, you know, we're going to play the hand we've been dealt, uh, but we're going to work hard. So I have to finish up here. I want to I want to give you this encouragement as we work to what I believe is going to be a very good Republican year. I want you to work uh, like the Dickens to get Republicans across the board elected, and work like it's you that is going to make uh, the the difference. But pray like you know it's God that's going to make the difference. Pray for our republic. Embrace liberty. That will make the difference. Embrace our founding principles, our constitution, and work for candidates that will embrace those principles also. Thank you very much. I'm going to say two things. I've got a birthday bash July 22nd at Genesis. You're all uh, welcome. Uh, see John Judd for volunteer uh, um, opportunities. And we're looking for young people to march in a parade, the Webster Day Parade. Love to have you uh, march with us in that parade. Thank you very much. God bless. <laughs>